One, two. X O X O. L O V E. Did you ever make these cootie catchers, fortune tellers, uh, chatter boxes? They have so many different names in so many different places. And I'm making one of these for my husband as a Valentine's Day card um, using the My Person set from Tracy Reed Designs. And if you're here right now, you're probably on a blog to hop and YouTube hop. So stick with me and I will show you how to make one of these right now. So to make these fortune tellers, cootie catchers, chatterboxes, whatever you want to call them, um, I used some papers from the My Person collection and printed them double-sided on just regular, regular printer paper. So these are the patterns I chose. I'm not quite sure which ones I'm going to really go with. Um, then I did some of the alphas and just did like numbers and some of them, again, on regular printer paper. These might be too big for what I want but we'll figure out. Um, and then I did, I printed out the stickers, the fussy cut stickers from the sticker collection. I'll link those below. Um, again, just on regular printer paper, you can do these on like sticker paper, but I knew I wanted to fussy cut a lot. And so I just did it on regular printer paper. Um, just cause I like the vibrancy. Cause like, look how, just how much fun those are. I love this one. So I'm going to kind of like speed this up while I show you how I'm making the fortune teller, cootie catcher, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I will also show you how I fold it with a plain piece of paper. But I wanted to show you what I was starting with first. Okay, so I think I'm going to be using this paper with the hearts on one side and then the polka dots on the other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the white edges from the printer right around here. And then I'm going to measure out um, an eight inch by eight inch square. It doesn't matter what size square you want to do. If you do just like a regular piece of paper, you can um, fold it diagonally and just kind of like do eight and a half by eight and a half. Um, completely up to you how you want to do it. The smaller the square, the harder it is to like fold and then do the fun like, you know, fortune telling part of it. The smaller these are, the harder they are to do. So I'll just warn you about that. Um, so I'm going to measure this out and trim it and then show you how I'm going to be folding it. And then um, we'll start decorating. Okay, now that I have an 8x8 eight eight square, and it almost doesn't look square just because of the, the lines are a little wonky, but how we're going to do this is we're going to take this, flip it over, and we're going to fold, and I will provide other instructions, like written instructions as well. I'll link to a few different places if you never did this, but we're going to fold diagonally one time, and then open it up. And then fold diagonally another time. So you're going to have a lot of creases. And then diagonally again. And we're going to open it up. And we're going to put each of the corners into the center. And you can still see that crease right there. You want that. That's part of what we need. We just need a lot of creases because we're going to be folding this a lot. So just kind of fold into the center and make creases. It's going to look kind of like an envelope, but it doesn't have to be perfect. This is not about perfection. This is about fun. All right, and then once you have that, again, it looks kind of like an envelope. Flip it over. We're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So you're going to fold into the center, fold into the center. And then flip it over again. You see these little squares and these little flaps. That's part of the fun. And then we're going to fold it so that the squares open up on the bottom. So you see that right there? 
I'm explaining this absolutely horribly, but you want those to be like that. And then I'm going to kind of open it again and I'm going to fold the opposite direction just to kind of make it a little bit more flexible. Open it up, fold again, just kind of going around making sure those creases are nice and tight so that they're easier to kind of use as that fortune teller, cootie catcher, chatterbox, whatever you would like to call it. I know everyone calls it something different. They were fortune tellers in my schools. Okay, and there we go. And we can start telling someone's fortune. So now that I have this part done, I'm going to decorate it and I'll come back and show you what it looks like and what I have under each of the flaps. So, and again, I will link folding instructions below in case my instructions made absolutely no sense to you. Okay, now that I've cut out a bunch of bits to decorate this with, I'm going to glue them on. I'm just gonna use an Elmer's glue stick and we're gonna start with the numbers and go from there. And then um, I'll show you kind of how I'm decorating each one of these flaps. And then uh, I'm just gonna write some notes on the inside. So I'm gonna speed this up while I do all of that. And then you can see the finished product. Okay, so you can either put like one thing over these flaps because you really don't need to lift these flaps on right on the inside. So you can put one thing on each of them um, and that will get a little bit folded. It'll be kind of creased a little bit. Or you can put one thing on each of the individual triangles. Um, it really depends on how, how much you want to be folding it and unfolding it, all of that. Uh, I'm just going to do like four things rather than eight or more um, rather than eight uh, just because like I, I don't want to fit like I'm gonna have to scrunch some things down um, I don't really this is gonna be more of a Valentine's Day card for my husband so I don't see him like you know doing it constantly um, I see him more like wanting to get to the four messages underneath here so I'm gonna put them over the crease but you do you shrink them down a little bit more um, Figure out how you want to do this for yourself and your project. Okay, so now I'm going to be decorating and writing just some little um, notes inside to my husband. Um, so I'm going to kind of do these prompts um, and then just write little notes. And then um, that way when he picks like this one, say, he can open this one up and read the little note. So just really simple. And then I'm going to just use a Sharpie to write the note. Now that this has notes inside, I'm going to fold it back up and show you really quickly how we're going to do it. So you'll see, I did have to do some little bit repairs just to keep gluing it, just to make sure that it stays down on those creases, but that's okay. Again, this is just for fun. I don't see this being like a, a scrapbook project that we passed down forever and ever. So. To play you would pick a number so let's say pick two 
So one, two. And then once they look inside, say we can do it a couple ways. So you can either say they say love this and go L O V E T H I S. And then they would pick this one and then read underneath that. Um, or this one and read underneath that. So that's kind of how you play, that's kind of how it looks. Um, again, I will leave instructions below for if you need written instructions for how to do the the folding but i promise it's easy and it's just a fun little project so hope you like it um hit like and subscribe if you do and if you're here for the um the youtube hop keep on hopping there's links below thanks so much friends bye, -bye.